And sports anglers from around the world will be descending on Clayton in a few weeks. Here's Rob Crone. One of the biggest fishing series will be making its final stop of the season in Clayton in less than two weeks. A stop both officials and anglers look forward to each year. We're less than two weeks away from the 2023 Minn Kota Bassmaster Elite at St. Lawrence River setting up shop in Clayton. The tournament, which runs from August 24th through the 27th, is the final stop of the season for the Bassmaster Elite Series. That is correct. So we'll crown our Progressive Angler of the Year there, um, as well as our uh, Dakota Lithium Rookie of the Year. Uh, and find out who our our bass our 2024 Bassmaster Bassmaster Classic qualifiers. It's going to be held in in Tulsa ne next March. The qualifier of the Elite Series. So it's going to be a super exciting week up there. Bo says the affiliation with the Clayton area is something that dates back to the 80s and 90s when the Open Series closed its season in Clayton. Last year, Jay Shakurat hauled in the largest four-day total in Bassmaster history with 102 pounds to take home the title. And Bose says that's one of the reasons the stop in Clayton is one of the most popular on the tour. That fishery is just tough full of fish from, from end to end. Um, it is, there's a reason it was last year's number one lake in the whole country. It's, it's fallen all the way down to number two in 2023. So, I mean, you know, it's got the attention of the anglers. It's got the attention of, you know, people that want to go recreational fish. Um, obviously, um, it's, a, it's a beautiful area. The competitors on the tour have said in the past that the St. Lawrence and Lake Ontario are spots they like to come back to when fish in the off season. And with the Minn Kota Bassmaster Elite at St. Lawrence River being the final stop on the Elite Series, Bo says it may be more than a week stay for some of the elite series anglers. Some of these guys, this is it for the year for them. You know, a lot of fish other tournaments, but there's some, the elite series, that's exclusively what they fish. So they got some downtime. You'll see a bunch of them stick around, fish a few more weeks, maybe even on, on the St. Lawrence. Obviously, the off limits would no longer be a factor in Lake Ontario. Another reason the stop on the St. Lawrence is one of the top events on the circuit is the overwhelming support the anglers and the officials get, not only from the fans, but the local and state officials as well. I mean, it, it, it's outstanding. The fans in, in, in New, northern New York always turn out and uh, they're passionate. They, they know the sport. Um, they, you know, obviously we've been coming as we talked about there. So they've, they've kind of seen the players a little bit and understand it. And, and then our hosts there in Clayton and Waddington, both, they really roll out the red carpet. And with good reason. As one of the biggest events of the season sets up shop right here in the North Country once again this year. And that's a check on sports this Thursday. I'm Rob Crone. Melzen tonight at six o'clock and he'll have all the latest local and national sports news.